Hey guys, so it's been a very long time since my last update. Um, let's see what's been new. Well, first off, I am, I'll be 35 weeks tomorrow, and my cesarean has been set up. It's been set up for February 11th at, at 7 in the morning. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, Oh, and we have found out the gender, and let me go ahead. I'm actually going to insert a clip of my boys um, cutting a cake. We kind of did like a little treasure hunt type thing, but I'm just going to insert that last little part for you guys to see right now on um, exactly if it's a boy, girl, twins, or whatever. So, here goes. Come on, fat. Get up here so you can see if you're having a brother or sister. Pink is for sister, blue is for brother. Pink, you got sister candy. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that was it. It's a girl. We're naming her Emery. My husband is over the moon excited. Um, I'm excited, definitely. I, I know y'all can't tell right now, but I don't know. I have been so, like my energy level has gone lately um what's been new let's see oh actually my blood sugars have been they've been actually kind of up my a1c which is like my overall average for my blood sugars went from being a 7.2 to now at 8.3 so it my blood sugars have been quite up and down um basically up though of course my um what is that my overnight blood sugars have been really high. My fasting morning blood sugars have also been high. We've uh, changed the, the insulin or the amount of bolus I get overnight several times. We, um, we actually have to change that again next time I go. I've been going to my endocrinologist every two weeks now and my um, OBGYN once a week now. And the reason I'm going once a week now is, of course, because I'm getting closer, but also because they want me to do non-stress tests every week. And everything from that has been coming back excellent. Like, she's good. She's not, <laughs> you know, in any stress or anything. Um, I won't actually have, and it's weird to me, I haven't had an ultrasound since we found out the gender. And that was back in October. And it's almost my it today is uh, January twentieth, so we won't we won't have another ultrasound until February second, which I don't know that to me that's kind of like a long time to go, especially with me being diabetic, for me not to have an ultrasound. But um, what else? Oh, I've been having like really bad itching just like really bad I have i don't know if you guys can see but I have like given myself sores from scratching so much um, and that's just not on my arms it's my stomach my breasts my back my legs like everywhere has been itching y'all uh, my doctor told me I could take Benadryl but um, he also told me if the Benadryl doesn't work, he could prescribe me something a little bit stronger, but it would make me kind of, um, uh, what's, what's, drowsy, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that it would make me drowsy. So I was, I'm, I'm trying to hold off on doing that unless I, I just have to. And right now, the way the itching is going, <laughs> I, I might have to go ahead and get the prescription for whatever it is. Uh, what else? I think that's about it, you guys. Um, besides the fact that my husband is over the moon, that we're having a little girl, first baby, first baby girl, and last. <laughs> um, and besides the fact that my blood sugars have been, I want to say over maybe about the last month to month and a half, they've been shooting up overnight. So that's been really annoying. Um, Oh, I oh, y'all! I have been having the worst Braxton Hicks ever. I 
everyone was like, oh, Braxton Hicks, Braxton. and I had never had Braxton Hicks before. So when I finally got my first, you know, one, I was like, oh, I thought I was dying. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was death. But um, yeah, I get the Braxton Hicks. I'll get when um, I was having a leg cramp, my, my left leg, it was cramping up really bad. Like if I would sit down too long or if I would lay down, by the time I stand up, my leg is like, it's just super tight. And I, I had to stand there for a minute before I could move. Um, and okay, kind of a little TMI, but the right side of my vagina, it still does actually. I can't lay on my right side. If I lean on my right side too long, it's sore. Like, uh, that's the best way I know how to describe it is just soreness. Like when I try to, to um, lay on it or lean on my right side too long, it'll, it'll be sore by the time I get ready to move again. Um, of course, I'm in that super uncomfortable sleep at night stage. Like I can barely sleep. Uh, I have to like sit up at night to sleep now because if I lay down, it's it's crazy uncomfortable. I can't cuddle with my husband anymore because I'm, I'm just uncomfortable, I have to sit up. Uh, what else? I think I wanna say that's it, you guys. Um, oh, my baby shower is coming up. We're gonna actually have it uh, January 31st. So I'm super excited about that. My little sister and my husband decided to throw it. So I'm a little nervous, but they decided to throw it. Um, I'm excited about that and uh, the boys are excited that they're having a little sister um, like I said last and final so <laughs> good thing it was a girl because if it was another boy then <laughs> well um, but yeah let me oh let me go ahead and show you guys my belly shot my belly has grown so much you guys at first I was not thinking I would have like anything. I thought I might have like, you know, a little hump or something, but yeah, no. This little girl has definitely taken her toll on me. I mean, from skin to the emotions to not being able to sleep. My ankles have also been swelling. Okay, so like if I'm standing up too long or if I eat something like a little salty, like my ankles are they're puffed like if I if I'm in the shower at night sometimes they'll puff up like that too so yeah she's definitely working on me um, but let me go ahead and show you guys my belly I don't know if y'all can see it here the sun's on that side let me get this way so there's little Miss Emery Trying to block out the sun, sorry you guys. But yeah. So there was little Miss Emery. Um, I'll definitely be back to update you guys before before baby comes. Hopefully, uh, I'll update you guys. I'll say February first. I'll try to update you guys on what exactly is happening, what's going on. But um. Again, you guys know the drill. If y'all have any questions or want to know anything, just make sure you ask them down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you. Bye.